What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to run off where we left off, we are intercepting a whole bunch of Prussian troops near Cologne and we should be fine. So I suspect it's these two forces are going to be the armies that come in from either the garrison or from the flank. I suspect this army that's in full that's in good shape is probably this guy. Well it's the it's the only large force that's commanded by a general. They've got lots of light troops, got some artillery and some cavalry. I think we should be okay. We might have to deploy a bit conservatively because there's a lot coming straight ahead of us and there'll be a lot coming from our the right. So just be careful. But it's a good opportunity, I think, to push back a lot of Prussian troops in, in quite a key sector and it will then open up Cologne to our forces in pretty short order, really. Then we can continue our push. Well, well this is during an end-turn phase, so we can take knock these men out, um, lay siege to Cologne. Then we've also made good progress in southern, we're northern Italy, where we can um, actually do quite a lot of damage to... I don't know why it does this sometimes. Um, but we can hopefully we can do a lot of good damage to the. You know, we can destroy the Savoy, the Savoy faction, and uh, open up front to southern Paris with two good armies. Or well, southern Paris, southern France, with our last two armies. So let's take two more units of infantry. Point them like so. Scatter my howitzers around. So I'm anticipating if they're going to come from the right, they're not going to come from further back from this house. Rip up the grenadier unit to, to hold that sector. I've got a hand mortar unit I'm going to put behind my <laughs> behind my uh, foot artillery. Should put my cavalry on the probably actually probably both on the right. It's probably a better place to put them. Got my general. So I've got okay, put another hand mortar unit behind this unit of howitzers. Put some semi genesis on the left. Send that on the right. Oh God. Okay. They're all around us. So that looks like the proper army. So spin my men around. So I'm focusing my cavalry over here because this is... Oh, okay, hold on. Delhi horsemen stop firing. I'm charging my cavalry over there because that's where the bulk of their weak troops are. You men drop into square. So I'm hoping, well, I want to try and knock off some of the weaker stacks first with my cavalry. My men here can deploy in a square and counter charge with Sema Janissaries. You guys jump into square as well. The hand mortars have engaged, and that's stopped firing. Okay. Let's bring my general's bodyguard into the mix. So that looks like where the, the strong force is coming in. My guys have successfully managed to kill their own men. Okay, let's push these guys up to threaten that general 
in order for me to pivot these guys around to the left. Let's go back here. You guys hit that regiment of grenadiers. You guys continue to fight here. We've pushed those men back. Let's get the grenadiers around on the flank to try and help out. Actually, you guys can probably fill this position. Killed another general. Who's back there? 12 pounder. Go chase him down. Deal with the sharpshooters and the Grenadier Guard Regiment. Let's pick new trickline targets, finally. There's some more artillery out on out in the uh, the distance over there. Charge my Sipahi onto the Swiss line. My Delhi horseman can do the general bodyguard. These guys can go hit 12 pounders. Okay. Now we're engaging Grenadier Guards as a team. Then my Semak Janissaries back. You guys have killed them, so. See what you can do against the Sabres. General's knocked out the artillery, so let's go try to get the Swiss Jaegers. Let's try to get some Semat upon the ridge. Okay, this Grenadier unit is done. Let's push these men up. Run our hand mortars over here to try and get a volley off against the. Uh, Okay, maybe don't go after them yet. Let's consolidate my uh, marines. Strong unit of marines. Okay. You see them going after my melee tree. It is. You guys are going to get smashed. So at least let's counter charge. Keep my quick line houses going. Who are you fighting? John Danbury. Keep my general out of fire from the Fry Court infantry. Some aren't doing great against the Okay, we need to push back the dragoons, we need to push away the Grenadier Guards, we need to launch some men to go and attack the uh, cavalry to the rear. The Janissaries are going to have to attack the Swiss Pikes. Okay, you guys, General, get out of there. You guys hit the artillery, and then once we've done that, my Semats are probably going to have to sacrifice themselves to kill as many... Aha! Artillery town. Go get him. There we go. Relying on my glorious hand mortars. Okay, get my skirmishers out of here.
attack these force artillery teams. And we general, getting him out of dodge. He's about to get charged. Run, run, run. Don't walk, run! Okay, so Pahi, get back over here towards where the end, where our, our general is. Okay, send this water. You go take out that infantry unit. You go take out. Ooh, push up even as a collective. Sipahi definitely deploy the wrong unit there. Run, General, run. Start to get my Field artillery start to just pretty much fire in all directions. Damn, these dragoons came back. Deploy my infantry into square, that might see off the dragoons. Deploy these light infantry up on this hill. There we go again, more. stuff with my hand mortars if I can reload them in time. Okay, my all of my howitzers probably need to start attacking that unit. Push up. need to have skirmish mode on. You guys go after you guys stop. You guys get into square. You probably just come back over here. Our situation has not improved. There's a lot of men coming from all directions. Just focus on that Grand Guard Regiment. Good, you've seen them off. You go and attack the horse artillery over here. How it's just focus fire this big blob of infantry. Too bad, it looks like I'm probably going to focus on the this Grenadier Guard unit, which isn't what we wanted, but... You take out the horse artillery, you take out those men, you guys get over here. You guys form into a square to try and knock out those hussars. The light infantry fall back and run away. You guys drop into square, counter charge. Our cavalry into the tent. 
it's a gun team on the loose. Okay, I know their, their artillery seems to be chasing after us. Which is kind of good. Stay in square. Blend of our shotgunners have got a line on some of our howitzers. Go get them, Delhi horsemen. Hand mortars are engaging the dragoons. Okay, you guys are also hit the dragoons. Good. Recall my recall my infantry. can hit the right targets might just might save the day. Except it feels like they are to probably going to elect to uh, target the wrong things. Got one unit, one poor unit against Dragoons and Swiss Jaegers. The Dragoons are gone. The Swiss Jaegers aren't going to hang around for very long. And they haven't. Form those men up in a line to engage the Prussian Fusiliers. Come on, howitzers. They're definitely aiming at the wrong units. They're aiming at that blunderbuss shotgun. It's shotgun. I don't care about the blunderbuss shotgun. The Marines are gone. And mortars are coming back. Sweet. The morale damage. The morale impact of those mortars is huge. Let's run them over to go attack the blunderbuss shotgunners. These guys have got their hands full. Trying to cut these Prussian infantry apart. Something tells me we're not going to have a push on to Cologne with this army, boys. about them, focus on these guys, get our howitzers if they can do anything useful, go and attack this fusilier unit. Can't limber up this gun team at all. The tenth foot guards are going to break, because there's only 43 of them. Pivot. Pivot these Nizam around. And mortars and get advanced to close range. Yeah, I thought there was a chance that some of them would come back. The 87th are forming up. And mortars can engage, that would be lovely, but it takes them a long time to reload. Okay, 
they've been shattered. Run these guys up to support the engagement against the Marines. You guys are probably enough to fight them. Especially once these guys open up when they finally reload. It takes them a long time to reload. Understandable though, considering their payload is so devastating. But they're the last regiment on the field. 69th Regiment of Fusiliers. Come on, there's one guy left. There we go. Fire! Second rank. Fire! Oh, that's so... That's so good. That's so good. There we go. Pyrrhic victory. Very much so. God damn it. <laughs> if we get... If we have a chance to intercept, we're not going to take it. There you go. We lost more, nearly as many men as they did. But damn, at least they're the ones that have to fall back. They blunted our advance, but they did not stop it. Swedish troop. Wait, I guess my guy has no movement points. Does our small army want to intercept this force? Probably. Pikemen. They got they got a bunch of cavalry, but we've got good cavalry. We've got enough infantry to have a solid infantry centre. And we're going to get some reinforcements anyway. Let's do it. Our army on the bridge must not have any uh, movement points to be able to intercept the, the force that just ran straight past them. So, spread our artillery out. Nizam infantry focus. But to be honest, I'm going to put my Nizam there. Janissary muskets like so. My other artillery unit like this. Janissary Grenadiers on the extreme flanks. My Nizam rifles up front to deploy stakes. And where's my other Sipahi unit? All the way over there. Deploy. Now it says deploy. General in the centre. My rifles deploy stakes. It looks like a regiment of horse steaming right in. Charge their cavalry. My cavalry. Make sure my artillery is focusing on what I want them to. Yay! Unit of Semini. These Sipahis are a welcome addition, though. There we go. These men, these cavalry men, are broken. They're coming in again, though. I might charge my Sipahi ahead to intercept, well, sort of intercept the Lancer Guard. We know they're going to run straight into my spikes. Well, they were, anyway. 
you guys stop firing. I'm not using my riflemen in an efficient way. Hey, these cavalrymen came back. But the other combat is going on. The cuirassiers have joined in, and the general's bodyguard are in. The Lancer Guard are going to try and get a charge off, but they're going to be cut down to half strength. My howitzers engage their men. My Sapahi chase them down. You guys clear out the Grenadier Guards. Fairly sure this is a battle we win. Let's try and run my riflemen around on the flank. Again, you're doing the same thing on this flank that I don't want you to do. Curiosities. You've got to bear in mind that my Sapahi, they're very much Lancer cavalry, but they are armoured to hell. Defense 18, but the charge bonus is huge, that's where their strength lies. Keep blasting them. They're a bit close for quick climbs, so let's change my artillery to the hearts just to round shot and engage the artillery to the rear. The general's bodyguard's not going to last very long, although I might detach the Delhi, Delhi horseman unit to go after the cavalry, the artillery specifically. The Sapahi have one on the flank, so then let's curl in these guys. My detached Delhi horseman unit go after the artillery. Howitzers engage that engineer unit. It's, in, it's all clumped up, clustered together. Run my Sipahi into the pikemen because they're at the, they've not got many pikes, and my Sipahi on the charge would be more than enough to destroy them. These Sipahis charge the Grenadier Guards. They do a lot of damage on the charge. 119 becomes 83 following the charge, and they're gone. Leave my attack with the artillery. Yep. Pikemen are gone. Where's the, my general? So let's throw my general into the mix. Where's this other weak general? He's been involved in the combat and in the firefights. So I'll attack the pikemen, the other units attack the general, you chase down the gunners. Stop all my artillery because it's upsetting the units, even the units that don't want them to get to get hurt. You keep blasting the 53rd. You attack the Osterbotten Regiment there. Yep, yeah, General took a, a huge hit right off the bat. The General's been killed. Those are my Seminis there withdrawing. The General's been killed. Charge into the rear of those men. General's bodyguard's only got two men left in it. These men were confident, now they're steady. These guys attack the guard unit. Fourteenth Grenadiers are going down. You men storm into the grenadiers here, into the guardsmen here, sorry. 
one of you guys go off and intercept that unit. You guys hit them. You guys continue to attack these regiments of artillery. Relevant regiments of infantry, I should say. There's only two line infantry guards to kill. Stuff. The guards are routed. Stop this unit from firing. Continue. One of you guys break off and go after the guards. There we go. Now let's keep everyone busy. Careful of you guys. You don't run into those spikes. Quite a big unit of spikes, big deployment of spikes. Okay. Run around. Okay, you, okay Dirty Horseman is going to run straight through. Chase him down. The other general's bodyguard got there, guys. You guys also attack the engineers. Charge the engineers, don't let them get away. Well, it looks like they probably are going to get away because my cavalry is stopping. I'm definitely giving them attack orders, but whatever. Ugh. At least, at least it was a victory. And they've been pushed back. Those men are doing the old switcheroo. Savoy knows what's up. <laughs> they know we're not friendly. The Mughal Empire? Are they going to attack? Yes, they are attacking Spain. Good. Stay away from us. Well, it's very tempting to raise a force to... Well, we are going to, we're going to secure Gibraltar anyway. We're en route to Morocco. Good, like, if I could bottle up the, the Strait of Gibraltar, that protects all of the Mediterranean. They would have to sail an entire navy in there to come and take my guys. Okay, okay, okay. So. Iron Workshop sabotaged. But we're building a new one, so screw you. These men. Replenish. You are being reinforced. Good stuff. Those are these men. So yeah, you're... You're a bit isolated there, but you're in good nick. You're going to stay where you are. You're in good condition, but they're probably going to send this guy to push and destroy the Swedish forces here, which means that this army becomes free to deploy to the west. Let's put Sweden under siege. <laughs> This army can destroy these remnants. Yeah, which they are very much remnants. You can intercept and attack this raiding little force. Carry. Oh, damn it! Okay, let's get rid of all the port blockaded workers are on strike. Get rid of all of our spying missions. I did not mean for you to build a fort. Never oh, you're not within range to attack them. Finland is probably okay without you now, isn't it? It is. And it is being taxed. I don't want to move them, but they're going to be ready in case this force comes south through here. Then we'll move in and destroy them. Then these three armies, one of them will march north around the road. The other two will deploy probably straight for Copenhagen and Norway to knock out Sweden. Uh, you attack these lone units. Too bad we're going to draw in some attrition, but that's okay. It's worth it to 
destroy that raiding force behind us. Okay. Let's go do some building. So this force doesn't really have a purpose. Got some riflemen in the garrison. In the garrison of Venice. Hmm. Put a madrasa here in Rome. Let's upgrade their military facilities. Got our priests going to work. So we all know how much money Naples brings in. So we definitely want to dump a bunch of money in upgrading their facilities. Obviously we do want to hit Turin. We do need to hit, we need to hit Wurmberg sooner or later, but I think I might be focusing on Sweden. So let's take Sakisli Safet. I mean, don't, yeah, I'm watering that. <laughs> that army was almost completely destroyed. You guys are in good nick, but I can probably, I mean, I don't want to auto, but for battles that don't really mean anything, then why not, you know? case then these men can deploy west. So we've now got Copenhagen bottled up pretty well. To be honest you, well firstly I'm going to just destroy these guys at our hoose but then this army I think can just march straight to Copenhagen because we command the waters of the region. I think. But where we're probably going to end is with Suleiman Sachi. We're going to assault and capture the Swedish capital of Stockholm. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Swedish capital. We're doing a lot of fighting in the same areas at the moment in this campaign, <laughs> in most of my campaigns. Radio. thanks for watching guys, cheers.